The first question, if we were to interview your current or former teammates, what would they say about you? They would say that I'm full of ideas, that I usually bring lots of projects, that I bring and create lots of items on the agenda, uh, that I'm of a person who thinks big, who likes to think big, and uh, which is indeed true, that I like to see our company grow and year by year make a difference. I don't want to. I don't want to stagnate. I just want to see improvement and expansion in all directions. And uh, what did you do to maximize your strengths and improve on the feedback? One negative feedback would be that I'm quite emotional at times and uh, at times I can be I can lose motivation easily and uh, I have discovered this keyword emotional intelligence about 20 years ago and I'm very in interested in it and I'm and I'm constantly working on how to improve my emotional intelligence that I'm that I'm trying to separate negative uh, negative emotions that pull me back and I'm working on the positive emotions that that spring me forward this is for question two tell us about a time you have had to think outside of the box to solve a work-related issue uh, this is buffalo uh, which can be cold sometimes during winter a bit loss of snow so snow plowing is a business here and is uh, is is, is a challenge for schools and other institutions like us. Last year, we hired a company to do the snow plowing, uh, which ended up destroying some of our property, and we were not happy with their service, and it was costly. So this year, by thinking out of the box, we hired a maintenance person who happens to know a lot about snow plowing. Upon talking with him, uh, upon negotiating his contract, we added the snow plowing issue into his contract. So it became one of his responsibilities. And then we also talked to the board members and we uh, convinced them that we needed a snow plowing truck, which has been purchased. And then with our first, uh, first snowstorm last week, it was beautiful. He was able to clear all the, all the snow at our old buildings. And we have four buildings here. So it just it just proved to be effective and people are happy about it. Although we purchased the truck and it cost us like $60,000, I think we'll be getting our money back within the next two, three years. So that's one solution. This is for question three. It says outside of the professional development provided to you at work, what do you do to support your own growth and continued learning? Well. I have the belief that education is for life, that I'm not gonna be satisfied with what I have learned. With everything that I learned, it's telling me that, that there's so much, so much to know, so little that I know. So it keeps me going forward with learning and learning and learning. So that's my attitude towards learning. And uh, what I do, uh, if there are seminars, if there are conferences that I know is going to be useful for me, that's going to help me understand the job better, that I'm usually in favor of those that I like to attend, uh, go the extra mile, do the travel, attend those meetings. And uh, books is another source that I have books on the subject uh, that I uh, use it from time to time and uh, deepen my knowledge. And, one other thing is my network. Since I worked in different countries, I have I have friends in different countries. I have friends that are running schools in executive positions. I have friends that are uh, that are educational related businesses. That I have friends uh, with PhDs in different subjects. That I keep a healthy relationship with them. So anything becomes new. Anything becomes interesting. That I can get the information firsthand. And also, as usual, that I'm watching lots of YouTube videos that are educational. And also, I can take courses. Actually, I have purchased some courses from Udemy on uh, management, on uh, IT courses, coding and finance. So these are some of the ways to help me 
keep learning, improve my knowledge on the subject and on, on other interests of mine. Thank you.